Next tonight, the soldiers from Rutland who are playing a leading role in what's described as the world's most dangerous peacekeeping mission. They're protecting villagers in northern Mali who've been terrorised by the so-called Islamic State. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has more. This mission involves around 250 troops based here in Cottesmore. They're from the Royal Anglian Regiment and we can show you where they are now. They've been deployed thousands of miles away to Mali in northern Africa where they're right on the edge of the Sahara Desert. Now that means coping with all sorts of conditions. Just look at this. Here they're being battered by a dust storm. It's hot, it's dangerous. Communication very, very difficult. But we have managed to speak to them from Mali over a satellite link. They're wearing the blue helmets of UN peacekeepers, but this is the British Army's most dangerous deployment since the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Royal Anglians are going out into the desert for weeks on end. Faisal's from Scraptoft in Leicester. I've never experienced heat like this in my life. Living out in the desert, I think, for 20, 30 days at a time, it's hard work. It could be 40, 50 degrees, and you've still got to crack on. It's not like you can stop, stop, stop. It is extremely harsh. You can imagine trying to sleep every night in a 40 degree heat. We circle the vehicles to create a safe area, run a poncho or a shelter off the side, and then we're sleeping on camp beds um, pretty much underneath the stars. They're here to stop extremist groups who've been terrorising civilians. This is a propaganda video of the group calling itself Islamic State in the Greater Sahel. The troops are gathering intelligence and trying to deter attacks on remote communities. That makes the peacekeepers targets too. We quite routinely will hear the enemy uh, over the radios. The closest thing we've had, I'd say, is uh, there was a, an incident with the Germans who were hit with a, a car bomb. Uh, and members of my platoon uh, were called forward to assist the medical facility here because uh, they received 13 casualties from that single explosion. This is how the Royal Anglians train for those attacks, but on their last patrol to an IS stronghold, they say enemy fighters simply melted away. They'd all left largely because they knew that we were coming, but whilst we were there it allowed us to protect the population. Rather than being coerced, robbed and threatened by ISGS, we saw weddings, uh, we saw people out finally able to smoke and enjoy themselves and um, you know dress uh, in more flamboyant manner than they normally get to do under Islamic State. That difference between here and Leicester is, is massive. When you see these lot enjoying their life for the set period of time we're there, it gives you a bit of a fuzzy feeling. But Mali's in crisis. Hundreds of thousands of people have left their homes because of the violence or poverty and climate change. And for the Royal Anglians, the challenges are immense. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today.